Hello, welcome back to EPG. I'm, of course, Greg, your host. Uh, if you've been watching the channel for a while, you know that I'm very safety conscious when it comes to traveling. Uh, it's about being situationally aware, knowing what's going on around you, um, being up to date on current events, uh, knowing what's going on wherever you are uh, in whatever country or place or town you visit. Um, but when I was getting ready for my big trip, I realized that there was a possibility that I might not be able to uh, know what is going on, that I might not be able to uh, ask for help when I need it. And so having read a lot of history and, you know, being very up to date on uh, things going on, I came up with a very elegant solution to make sure that if I did get in trouble, uh, there would be a way for me to uh, not only convey the most vital information, but also to get in touch with my emergency contact, uh, which happened to be my dad. Uh, so the elegant solution cost uh, less than $10, and I will show it to you right now. It is a dog tag. And on this dog tag, it has my name, uh, my blood type, and my emergency contact, both my father's phone number and his email address. So I figured if I was anywhere in the world uh, and uh, let's say, you know, I was hit by a bus or, you know, I got knocked out on the street and somebody took my wallet uh, or I was incapacitated because I had an allergic reaction to something that I didn't know I was allergic to, uh, I would be taken to a hospital and they would probably uh, do a search to see if there was any identifying information uh, and they would find that. I also had that in my Scotty vest uh, from the previous uh, video. Um, but yeah, so that information, uh, they would be able to not only know my blood type, uh, but also in countries, uh, especially in hospitals, uh, even in remote places, they do have people that speak English, so they would know uh, what is going on, especially, you know, regarding my complexion. Uh, they would know, depending on where I was, that I was not from around those parts, they would probably, you know, get somebody in there to speak uh, the language that I would know. Um, but yeah, it's just a way to, again, you know, not being paranoid, but just being ready and aware. And if it's good enough for the U.S. military, it's good enough for me. So that being said, thank you very much for your time and get out there.